Hey, this is Jason with Lloyd Land Surveying, and I want to show you how your legal description of your property affects the cost of your survey. So uh, this is a uh, just a standard section number 12 here, and it's got one road up here on the north end. And other than that, you can see, or you may not be able to see, but there is a mountain here to the south. And it's got some of uh, the fingers off of the mountain coming into the section. And so this is a mile by a mile here. Now I want to look at two uh, ways that descriptions are written. Uh, the first one is a, what's called an aliquot description. And that just means that it is a, a natural subdivision. So for instance, your legal description or somebody's legal description that you've seen before may say the northeast quarter of the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter of section 12. And what that means is <clears throat> that you can take your section and whenever you quarter it up like this, like this, and like this, your description is 10 acres, but it is the northeast quarter of the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter of section 12. And so that's an aliquot description and it is a simple description. It's a short description, but the what determines the cost of a survey is really how much time is it going to take to determine where your boundary is at for the surveyor. And when you have an aliquot description like that, the controlling corners, by law, we don't know where these corners are at. We can't just take off right here and go south 1320 and then go around at 660 foot. Uh, by law, what a surveyor has to do in order to know where that boundary's at, we have to go and tie the north quarter corner. We have to go over here to the east quarter corner. We have to go down on the mountain at the south quarter corner. We have to go to the west quarter corner and we have to tie the northwest. And we have to visit all those corners or know where those positions are measured from. So that way we can take and subdivide this section right here until we can determine where your boundary is at. And then we can go and pin your corners and mark your lines or whatever you need. But, but that description and aliquot description oftentimes is more expensive than a meets and bounds description. So let's look at another 10 acres. Say there's a 10 acres around this house right here. Okay. And what that description says is that it says beginning at the northwest corner of the northeast quarter right here and going east 250 feet. And then going east and south and west, and, and it, it actually gives distances and calls around 660 feet by 660 feet. So in order to survey this description, we have to know where is that line at. So we have to tie this corner and this corner. And so we have two corners to tie, even though the description is longer, we have two corners to tie on this one versus one, two, three, four, five corners to visit to know where this boundary is at. And all of that is just dependent upon how the descriptions are, are written. And so we have an aliquot description, and that is just a natural subdivided um, description, uh, the natural portion of a subdivided section. And that was real popular, has been real popular since statehood because in the, the public land survey system with these square sections like this, um, it was easy to convey property. The government could deed stuff. It was easy for families to transfer property. You may know of somebody that's gotten property just by, hey, the east half of the southeast quarter of the northwest, that's 20 acres, more or less. And so it's easy to do that without a survey. It's easy to convey, to buy, to sell property without a survey. But whenever it comes to a surveyor and, and us marking that property on the ground, it's more work on the back end, less work on the front end. Now, this other 10 acres right here, um, its description is, is uh, more difficult to, to come up with. 
and but it's less work to survey because it is only dependent upon uh, two uh, controlling corners versus five. And so the thing whenever you get into having to tie section corners and why surveys are expensive and why they vary uh, in why the range is so wide is because, you know, you can see there's a trail coming up in here and it's within a quarter mile of this corner over here and it gets up pretty close to this corner back here. But, you know, what if there's a, a gate here? There's a good chance there's going to be a locked gate. And surveyors, you know, we don't cut fences and don't, you know, uncut chains and get through gates and all that kind of stuff. And so if it's locked, we're just going to be hoofing it. And so there's just a lot of walking, a lot of time involved. And sometimes whenever we get to these corners, uh, they're disturbed or they're missing or something like that. And that, in the, the state law gives us uh, procedures to follow that just requires more work for us to reestablish stuff like that. So that's how come your description can make a difference. How your, how your land is described can make a difference in the cost of your survey. So I hope that gives you a little explanation. Uh, please just uh, click like on my page. And if you want to have some more, I'm going to try to be this year a little better at giving you some more educational videos about surveying. So, um, and go ahead and share this, send it to somebody you know that's maybe thinking about a survey. And uh, so I hope this will explain some of that, the issues uh, between the different types of descriptions, aliquot description versus a meets and bounds description. So I hope you enjoyed that.